probiotics and prebiotics and why they are very, very important for people um, with celiac disease. So this um, research I did was taken from uh, an article by Cleo Libinati at Gluten Free Work. So this is um, basically her research that I've kind of condensed and made a little less medical and a little more um, understandable. So um, at the time of diagnosis, the colon um, of a celiac is commonly unhealthy and uh, strangely enough, our health and well-being really depend on the health of our colon. Um, and inside our colon, we have hundreds of intestinal microbes, um, micro populations, excuse me, called flora, and um, they are numbering in the billions. To put it into perspective, each, this is so kind of gross, but I need to put it into perspective. How do I talk, how am I talking about poop? Let's just put it like that. To put it into perspective, um, one third of each bowel movement is dead bacteria. Just uh, wrap that around your head, it's awesome. Um, our resident microbes, whether beneficial or harmful, play a decisive role in nourishing um, or damaging the cells that form in the intestinal lining. And pro and prebiotic supplements and foods help to restore the good microbes in our colon. So according to World, World Health, the World Health Organization, probiotics are microbial foods or supplements that can be used to change or reestablish the intestinal flora to improve the health of the host, aka us. Um, prebiotics are non-digestible food products that stimulate the growth of symbiotic bacterial species present in the colon that improve the health of the host, again, that's us. Um, also, symbiotic means that both parties benefit. Uh, obviously, the flora get nourishment from us and we um, get nourishment from them. So reasons to take this um, if you have celiac. Uh, in celiac, intestinal enzyme deficiencies, sugar intolerances, and associated dysbioses or imbalance of intestinal flora appear commonly. Um, research indicates that the metabolic activity of flora in celiacs is different from the general population, and that is a genuine phenomenon of celiac disease not affected by either the diet, the inflammation, or the autoimmune status of the patient. Something interesting. Um, before treatment with a gluten-free diet, the immune reaction in the small intestine lining causes inflammation and damage to the villi, which um, prevents us from absorbing nutrients properly. And unabsorbed nutrients pass into the colon where, they, um, where their unnaturally large presence brings about colon dysfunction. So the arrival of large quantities of undigested fat, carbohydrates, and protein into the colon along with poor gut motility and certain nutrient deficiencies cause microbial imbalances in three ways. I'm going to tell you about those. The first um, is maldigestion from pancreatic insufficiency, bile insufficiency, and digestive enzyme deficiencies. This creates a large chain of events um, leading towards undigested um, carbohydrates or unprocessed carbohydrates. These undigested carbohydrates arriving in the colon cause excessive fermentation and draw water from the bloodstream into the colon. These conditions produce symptoms such as abdominal pain, watery diarrhea, IBS-like symptoms, bloating, and gas. Um, altered gut motility or movement of food through the digestive tract and low stomach acidity commonly found in celiac disease promote excessive fermentation in the large bowel and overgrowth of yeast and bacteria in the small bowel, both serious conditions. And the third is the health and integrity of intestinal cells depends on adequate availability of thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, zinc, and vitamin A. Deficiencies of these nutrients set the stage for inflammation, infection, and diarrhea that worsen gut function and induce overpopulation by pathogens, disease-producing microbes. Um, mag magnesium and potassium are needed for muscle contraction. So how pro probiotics um, improve your health? The probiotic flora inhibit colonization of pathogens by physically preventing them from adhering to the gut lining. So the English translation of that is that probiotics take the yucky stuff out and actually literally prevent them from attaching to your intestine lining and creating more bad bacteria um, in your colon. Natural sources of probiotic include um, fermented products such as kefir, also heard it pronounced kefir, so I always call it kefir. Yogurt, um, like Activia has probiotics, sauerkraut, miso, and unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. I have not had Activia since I've been diagnosed, so I'm not sure if that's gluten-free. So don't, because I said that, don't, no, don't go out and eat it without checking first. Sorry about that. Um, probiotic supplements, which I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, I take Floristore, which is says the number one probiotic worldwide. It is awesome. Um, 
this is one good thing that one of my gastroenterologists did for me was give me this um, it's not a prescription you can get it at Sam's um, for a little less expensive I know certain pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens I believe have it it is not cheap I think it's like $35 a bottle, $40 a bottle maybe, and there's 30 pills. I also have gotten it from drugstore.com and it's been on sale, but I know at Sam's and drugstore.com you can get them on sale. And some people say Fluorosaur is not um, as powerful enough that Flora Q2, which is the more powerful version, is better for them. But I love Fluorosaur. I think it's awesome. Um, probiotic supplements are guaranteed to contain uh, billions of live organisms such as Lactobacillus um, and Bifido... Bacillus. Sounds good enough. Um, and they're very helpful to establish or renew the flora in your body. Um, one time I was without my flora sore for like 10 days and I just started to feel terrible and I just was yucky and it just, I finally took that and within maybe 48 hours I was felt so much better. It just helps move things along um, in a celiac. They also make the gut more acidic, which is a good thing, and that helps um, prevent candida, which is a type of yeast from developing and living inside of you. It's exciting. Um, and now prebiotics. Prebiotics include dietary fiber, and I'm never going to say this right, fructo oligosaccharides. actually sounds relatively okay, um, or FOS for short. So FOS are simple sugars, called neosugars, partially composed of fructose that cannot be digested in the small intestine, therefore they are passed into the colon. Prebiotics process um, is, it's, the process is relatively complicated. Email me if you want more info on how to explain the whole process. But basically they do an excellent job of preventing your body from turning pro-carcinogens into carcinogens in the bowel and carcinogens um, are able to induce cancers. And natural sources of prebiotics include honey, gluten-free beer, awesome, onion, burdock root, asparagus, Jerusalem artichoke, banana, maple sugar, and Chinese chives. Um, and foods overall that you should have in your um, diet for digestion that also aid in healing include raspberries, celery, lemon, horseradish, carrot, grapes, lettuce, onions, garlic, cinnamon, and ginger. So in conclusion, um, probiotics and prebiotics with support of a daily 100% vitamin mineral supplement can help us recover faster and more fully on the gluten-free diet and maintain our health. So hope this explains some things. Um, if you have any questions, obviously email me, tinsley at sealybow.com. Hope everyone's doing well out there. As always, it's from Have Not To Have and Gluten-Free Dining. Thanks for watching.